<laughs> Hi guys, so I have a sore throat, but I decided to make a video because I am trying, trying to make videos more. And I just wanted to say a few things because they're on my mind. But first of all, congratulations Leonardo DiCaprio for your first Oscar. I ran out screaming to tell my mother and she was like, who's Leo? And I had to say, the guy in the Titanic. And she was like, oh, that's great. I don't know if she really knew what was on the go, but it was really early. Anyway, the main reason for this video for me is what's on the go with Kesha. Now, people are saying like, oh, she wasn't raped because she isn't going to press charges or like stuff like that. And it's like, that's not, that's, that's not how things go. You can't just tell someone they weren't hurt like that. Like, you can believe it or you cannot, but you shouldn't go and shut someone down. Now, like, if you say, but Morgan, like, wouldn't you go to court or whatever? I was like, no, probably not. I would probably never tell anyone. And I would probably deal with it the rest of my life. Because I got in a car accident, like, last year. And I was terrified to go to the court, fight for my side. I wish I could just curl up in a ball and pay the ticket. I had so much anxiety and stress, I did not want to deal with it at all. So if I felt like that towards a car accident, then imagine how she feels about that situation. Like, you don't have to press charges. If you want to forget about it, then fine. Because if you're going to go for press char charges when you're raped, you basically have to relive it. And whoever can do that, they're the strongest people ever. But if a person doesn't want to do that, they just want to get away from them, they just want to leave, allow that person to leave. You don't have to do anything. And I feel so bad for Kesha because apparently all these things happen to her. She just wants to leave the contract, go somewhere else, continue her music, and she just wants to be away from it. She wants to be free. But apparently she can't because she's in a long-term contract with this guy named Dr. Luke who hurt her emotionally and physically, I don't know. I'm not Kesha. But the fact is that I see people saying, well, she didn't press charges, like, she didn't get raped. It's like, no. A lot of people who get raped don't want to press charges. They want to forget about it and move on. A lot of people who do get raped can't move on if they pass charges. Press, press charges. So, I feel horrible that this situation has happened to Kesha. Like, I'll send her my love and my prayers because, like, I got thirty dollars to my name and I'll try my best to like I can't really send that to her but the thing is for anyone to go through that situation and the fact that it's getting blown up by the media that's probably the hardest part because not let alone it's not just the fact that this happened to her it's the fact that now almost the whole world knows and that's probably even more stressful and I want to apologize to her for like everyone sharing it and saying free Kesha like yeah she's happy to have the support but when one half supports her like one half of the world supports her in the internet the other half will talk her down there's gonna be those type of people and that could break her down more and I don't agree with anyone who said like if she's not pressing charges she didn't get raped because there's no proof there's no proof that she was or was not but in this day and age of how bad rape is and how you can't make a rape joke, you can't do anything like that because it has been taken into a ser it's become very serious to people. I really don't think she would go around saying it not being true. So, in my position, I support Kesha as much as I can. And I don't agree with anyone who says that if you're not if she doesn't press charges, she's not raped. She doesn't have to do anything like that. She has to be herself, make it through this, and hopefully get out of that contract because that's what she, all she wants to do. The fact that Zane from One Direction could leave his contract because he wasn't happy and she can't, that's the real question here. Like, how come that can happen, but it can't happen with her? She's a human. She's not a product. She's a human. And the faster that people start treating everyone like humans instead of products, that's better. I'm probably worth like, she may be worth like a million dollars and they don't want to get rid of her, but I'm worth like two cents and when did people become worth something? That's my question. When did humans become worth something? Like, she's human. She's worth the same as everyone else. Like, I don't care what people say, but that's my opinion.
Anyway, guys, I hope you like I hope you like this video. Share it if you want to share it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. And if you do not like anything I said, please avoid the hate comments. And again, I'm sorry for my sore throat. And congratulations, Leo. Alright, bye guys.